Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, I believe God's people can be immune to this, to this virus going around, but we really need to seek God's face and get his divine instruction for us to know how to make sure this thing passes by us and doesn't touch down. Check this out. This is what I'm talking about because we're in Christ Jesus, right? Christ Jesus was what? The ultimate sacrificial lamb without spot, wrinkle, without sin. Now check out the story in Exodus chapter 12. Starting at verse 1, I'm going to just read a few random verses. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. Verse 5, Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. Verse 7, After they kill it, right? It says, they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat. They shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, unleavened bread. That's symbolic. And with bitter herbs, they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. He shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning you shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Now, I'm going to stop there. I want to ask you a question. Every last one of you that calls yourself a believer in Christ Jesus, everyone who calls himself born again, everyone who calls himself a Christian, whatever you want to call yourself, here's my question. Is the blood of Jesus on the doorpost of your heart? Think about it. Is, is the blood of the lamb on your doorpost? Now, you notice the instruction was to stay in your house. There may come a point in time where God starts instructing his people, depending on where we live and what our situation is. There may come a point where God quarantines his own people. We won't need the government to tell us to stay in the house. We won't need the government to tell us not to come out. But God knows how to protect his people. This is my counsel, my personal counsel. Make sure you have plenty of water, plenty of medical supplies, gloves, sanitary things like alcohol, wipes, the kind of wipes that kill 99.99%. Yeah, they have masks also that are N100 that don't allow any bacteria to get to you. So I'm asking you, are you doing everything in your power? And will you obey God when he tells you right now, stay in your house and I'll tell you when to come out? Mm -hmm. Another thing, when you're staying in the house... You notice I said that the leavened bread was symbolic. They were not to eat any leavened bread. You notice that. 
They were just to eat bitter herbs. Why would they have to eat bitter herbs? Ooh. Well, listen to this, you guys. We have been dummied down and entertained by the world for so long that to tell some of you not to watch your favorite programs is like causing you to eat bitter herbs. It's a good time to consecrate yourself to the Lord while we're hunkering down in our homes. It's a good time to be about your father's business. If you don't have a YouTube channel, if you don't have a lot of contacts, get on Facebook and type up some editorials. Go online. Spread some things via email, some messages. Ask God to give you messages to spread to your family and friends. God can use you during this time, you know. Be ready. Be dressed to do whatever God tells you to do. Don't be in your pajamas kicking it. This is not a time to chill. This is a time to draw close to God and get about his business. This is a time of consecration. For some of you, it may be a time of fasting for you to get sin out of your life so that there are no legal open doors of the demonic to infiltrate your home with sickness. See, a lot of all the Israelites that God told to stay in their homes, they stayed in the home. And there was blood between them and the world. My question to you is, are you letting the world stay in the house with you? Hmm. That's what you have to pay attention to. What are you doing with your free time? What are you doing with your attention span? See, a lot of people never experience God because they never, they never press in. They don't do what it takes to enter into his presence. They want to sit on the outskirts, way in the back seat of the audience, like some of you do when you're online texting and socializing. I'm not talking about praying for somebody or counseling. I'm talking about texting and socializing about stuff that had nothing to do with the Lord. We have to take advantage of this time to concentrate, consecrate, fast, pray, press in, enter into his presence. What does Psalms 91 say? Verse 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. You're in the secret chamber of the Lord. You haven't allowed the world to get in. You're keeping the world out. The world and all its little trinkets. You may have to change what music you listen to. Change what programs you watch. Turn your TV off the whole time. Wouldn't that be something? That you might actually experience a supernatural God once you cut out all the crap from the world and incubate yourself during this period of lockdown. Take advantage of it. You have no idea what supernatural messages you can get from God. This is a message to be taken seriously. This is not a time to panic. Take advantage of it to get to know the God you serve in a whole different light at a whole different level than you've ever known them before. God bless you. And may the Lord protect and keep you from all the diseases of Egypt.